What's going on everybody? My name is Dylan. We're out here at Sylvan Beach, Texas. Today we're going to check out the Blazer Bay 2220 GTS. We're going to go take it for a spin and see how things go. Comes off like a glove on that sport trail trailer. All right, guys, today we're running the 2220 GTS guide series. This boat is 22 foot long, two inches, eight foot, four inches wide, 59 gallon fuel tank, 12 inch draft, fully loaded, fully loaded. It's about a 1,700 pound boat, completely dry, no motor. Uh, we have a 250 show Yamaha on the back. We're running a Bravo 22 pitch Mercury prop. Get it, get that aggressive top end out of the boat. We're waiting on Ben to come get her. Get in with us. It's a little windy out here today. It's actually a really pretty day. We're gonna we're gonna put around, let the motor warm up, and then we're gonna start showering on it. Love this boat, shallow draft, 20 inch sides while standing in the floor. Massive live wells in the rear of the boat. Nice size fish box up in the front deck. This is with the fisherman's console. You can get the same setup with the sport console. Shorter bucket seats. Up in our bow, we have our anchor locker. Cam lock latches. So when you suck the uh, lock down, it sucks the lid to the boat. There's your safety gear bag. There's your fish box for the front. It does go back into there. Bag's just big. Two cleats up in the front, two cleats in the rear. This is our fisherman's console. Wide, but it still has, you still have plenty of room to walk around. We got a front live well. I made a mistake earlier. We don't have two rear live wells. We have one front and then one back for that fisherman's console. Got our switch panel here on the dash. Let's see here. Live well fill manual. We'll turn them both on. The first switch is going to be for this front well. You do have high speed pickups on the bottom of the boat. That'll allow you to pick up your water for your live wells traveling at 30, 40, 50 miles per hour. This will go up in here, screw down. Once it gets to the top of the drain holes, up at the top of this pipe, it'll drain straight out of the boat. Stainless steel rod holders along the console. You got LED lights, fisheye LED nav lights. We do have a 10 inch jack plate. You got a blinker style switch. Yamaha analog fuel gauge, Speedo. This is supposed to have a tack. We're in a great back order time right now in the boat business. There's our horn. We got navigation lights, uh, dual stage switch. Bilge pump, we have two bilge pumps. One's on an automatic float switch. Um, this is a LED indicator light on the dash. When we get any water in the back of the boat, it'll indicate us and then start spitting it out. If the automatic side fails for whatever reason, we do have a manual override switch. Manual, you also have timers on the live wells. Uh, if you want to go to the automatic side, uh, courtesy lights would be the LED lights around the consoles. A wash down, this boat's not equipped with recirculator we have on the rear well. Uh, it takes water and recirculates the water. 
Uh, this is going to be for accessories for whoever adds accessories to the boat. So you got trim tabs on this boat, nice little glove box, keep your phone, wallet, keys. Large console storage. We can put all your trolling motor batteries in, get that weight centered up. We have our sport bucket seats. Uh, you do have individual foot bars that flip down for your comfort. Uh, the seats do go forward and backwards. I don't know if they spin. Oh yeah, they spin too. So if you want to kick off and fish off to the side while sitting in the seat, you can still do it. Uh, let's see, we got cranking battery access here. We can also mount power pole pumps in here, just storage. There's your perco switch. Live well for the rear. Nice size live well. Porting platform, Yamaha 250 show, 10 inch jack plate, base star hydraulic stainless steel steering. And a little picture of our bilge area. Oscar just washed it, so I'm sure that's why we got water in here. We're ready to roll. Alright guys. Guys and gals. Let's get this thing up. Be easy on it. You are on a padded hole. You will get the bow rise a little bit in the front. Once it lays down, the boat just wants to take off like a rocket. So we're gonna pull back on it a little bit. We're just running about 25 miles an hour right now. A little crazy. Bro, it is like we're about to take off flying. <laughs> I didn't bring the jack plate up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try that again. Oh I wasn't even looking at the speedometer. I think we were going like 60-ish, or in the 50s. <laughs> Not get that one back. Come on back, hey! <laughs> I did come in a little hot there. Oh! <laughs> I got it. Thanks. There you go. Slap it on your head. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. No hats. Go ahead, this time. You ready? Lucky it wasn't my sunglasses. <laughs> All right, we'll bring the plate up this time a little bit. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me get some grip real quick. <laughs> Die. Remember down. Okay. 
it's a performer for sure. Nobody drives like that, but it's fun. <laughs> Ready for the fastest as well. <laughs> boat to drive. How's my hair? <laughs> you look great. Perfect. Blazer Bay, y'all. Come check him out. Neutral. Steer left. Beautiful. motor up. Give her a little bit of gas. I want to throw it through the tailgate. Incredible performance. Absolutely not. Alright guys, we're going to get it back to the shop. Get it all rinsed off, get the salt off, salt's corrosive, we don't want to leave it on the boat, metals, and get our Yamaha 250 show rinsed out, we'll get back with you. Alright guys, we're back here at Boats Etc. Uh, we're going to get our boat washed off, we're going to get the motor flushed out. As I showed you last time, Yamaha puts this quick port on the side of the engine, unscrew it, just a water hose fitting. Take our water hose. Don't cross thread it. There we go. That tight. Start feeding it water. This is a backwards flush. It'll go through the heads down to the pump. We don't run the engine while we do this. You can cook the pump because it's a mechanical function on it rotating. We'll let it drain out for about five, 10 minutes. Make sure you like and subscribe. It keeps us going. Uh, gets us excited about making y'all new content for videos. Uh, let us know in the comment section of what you want to see. Uh, we'll be happy to film it and, and try to make the best we can out of it. Thanks, guys, and have a good day.